Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a first impression as well as a quick review of Cover FX new high performance um, setting spray. I bought this at my local Sephora um, about like a week and a half ago and I still have not used it. Um, so just like a little bit of information. So I'm on the um, Sephora app right now and the Cover FX high performance setting spray, it retails for $31. And um, basically um, for the description, it says it's a weightless alcohol-free setting spray that locks in makeup for up to 24 hours of wear with next level pollution protection. And uh, what it does is that it weightlessly sets makeup, protects against, against pollution, and ensures up to 24 hours of wear without fading, settling, cracking, or discomfort. This quick-drying, alcohol-free formula works for all skin types and is designed to keep your foundation, blush, eyeshadow, and concealer in place without feeling sticky, greasy, or drying. Um, and what's nice about it is that it is formulated without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates um, and also cover FX is a vegan cruelty free clean beauty company so which is amazing and awesome um, so what I have done already to my face is I have um, moisturized it and then um, on top of the moisturizer I have primed it with let's see my um, favorite holy grail um, primer which is the Becca ever matte pore perfecting primer. I prime my face with this and I have also used uh, my fav one of my favorite Holy Grail drugstore foundations which is the Revlon Color Stay. Um, I currently am mixing the color 250 and 330 and then also I have set my foundation with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying um, Loose Setting Powder. <coughs> okay, well Ooh, that felt, I feel so much better doing that. All right, so yes, I set my face with this powder and um, I did a little bit of eyeshadow. I did my mascara, did some blush, some highlight. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is just, all I need to do is set my face with some setting spray. So this is what the bottle looks like. It is um, four fluid ounces, which is um, typical of any fluids, um, of any setting spray. And uh, for the directions, it says to shake very well before use after makeup application and hold bottle eight to 10 inches away from your face and mist evenly onto skin. So I'm gonna shake it. And as you can see, there's like a, like a metal ball. Can you hear that? All right, so what I'm gonna do is hold it 10 to eight inches away from my face. And let that sit. Um, so this actually doesn't really have a scent to it, which is great because um, in comparison to my Glam Glow setting spray, my Glam Glow setting spray has a very like strong scent to it, which sometimes like people might not like, but this is awesome because it doesn't really have a scent to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, get back to you guys um, later today in the evening to give you guys an update on how my makeup stays uh, using this Cover FX setting spray. All right, I will see you guys later this evening. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so right now it is about 8 p.m. and I've had this makeup on for about 12 hours. Um, and during the day I ran errands, I worked out, and I also did some work. So as you can see that um, my makeup has held up pretty well. Um, and of course I have a little bit of shiny areas in my usual spots, which include my nose and then my chin, um, but nothing too serious. And I did not touch up at all. I didn't use any oil blotting sheets and I did not touch up with any powder. So this is how it looks like without me doing anything to my face at all during the day. So I think at the end of the day, um, the setting spray is definitely worth the purchase. Um, I think it held my makeup up very well, kept my makeup definitely in place, especially throughout a sweaty workout. Um, I will definitely be using this setting spray as my everyday 
spray during the summertime and I highly recommend you guys to go purchase this. I really like it. Um, so yeah, if you have any other questions, please leave the questions in the comment box below. And if you have any ideas for future videos you'd like to see, leave them in the comment box below as well. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video.